Okay. Okay, so when you come out, you were in the fireplace in the guards' quarters. And there will be guards. Out of uniform, but here nonetheless, sleeping. And you've got to sneak out. Now, it's not too bad if you can time it just right. Because as you can see, I've arrived at night, and they're all asleep. We can go ahead and pick this lock. And we are going to want to head upstairs. Yeah, but what we basically found is a really handy way to get to the top of the palace nice and fast. Right through the Hall of Epochs there. So we're going to head counterclockwise around this circle and get circling up, working our way to the tower. Because the next level up is the Elder Scrolls Library. This is the only way to get up here. If you try to just go up the tower like normally, just go up counterclockwise, spiral around, you'll get, you'll get up to the second floor and then there'll be an area that you just simply can't get past. Because, like uh, the Grey Fox tells you, it's a door that's not... you just simply can't pass it. And now we let these guards... Always let the guards stay at least one lantern ahead of you. As you can see, he's going around picking up crumbled pieces of paper. But yeah, always let him stay at least one light ahead of you. At some point here, there's a door on your left, I believe. Yeah, I think that's where you actually want to go, is in here. Yeah, into the Elder Scrolls Library. Because we want to enter on the first floor and go ahead and have a seat at the table. Shoot, we're inside in the light, aren't we? I don't like light. Let's hide. Okay. Maybe there's another layer of doors. Whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, this is a monk. There's one of the blind monks here is sitting, keeping watch. There's this lever behind him. You have to activate this without him detecting you. You need a... Thought I heard the bad music for a second there. You need a pretty high sneak stat in order to get past him. He's actually more dangerous from behind, I believe, because you get so much closer to him. Let's see if you wander this way. He's just sitting there waiting. Wait, he got up. Where'd he go? Alright, for the rest of this area, everyone is blind, and so... It shouldn't be a problem. As long as we don't speak, right? Yes, hello, welcome. It's good to be here. Welcome to this holy library, Lady Cameron. I'm happy to be here. We have a seat. To this holy light. I've seated myself in the reading chair. Now I just have to wait for them to bring me the scroll. As long as I don't speak to any of them, the priests seem to be assuming that I'm Celia Cameron, who's actually mentioned in another quest line, if I remember correctly. Welcome to this holy library, Lady Cameron. Oh, it's good to be here. Now, occasionally you get stuck in this chair. The game glitches, and you just like can't get up. And you have monks doing stupid shit like this, where the one trying to come down the stairs and bring you the scroll gets caught. But it happens sometimes. Celia Cameron. I present to you the Elder Scroll you requested. Oh, cool. Let's read it. Oh, I'm blinded! Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It doesn't actually blind you if you read it. You have to read it to take it. I have the Elder Scroll. Capital! <laughs> this is the treasure of the century. My name shall be known across Tamriel for this theft. Now I have to get it back to the Grey Fox, but the way back is blocked. I'll have to go upstairs to find a way out. Even though they're blind, these monks will not be easy to sneak past. Because they do not want you to take this scroll. Now, basically, you just have to head up the stairs cautiously. Don't touch the monks. If you bump into them, they'll immediately detect you. So what you want to do is slowly sneak your way up. Always be aware of your surroundings. See, you have to get past this guy. Hopefully he's going to move, because sneaking past him is not going to be easy when he's standing right in front of the friggin' door. I can't reach the door, can I? Oh, okay, yeah, just go out of the way. Thank you very much. And we go ahead and exit the library here. Let's see. See, now we're even higher than we were before. So the risks are up. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to escape. Okay, so we got monks going past. Just stand still. They are blind, and we're in the dark. The guard should walk by without incident as well. Yeah, if your sneak scat is high enough, you're practically invisible. He seems to be going the other direction, so while he's busy with that, I'm going to go over here. Because I think we need to continue up the tower to find our way out of here, as counterintuitive as that may seem. Alright, we'll keep going. Not much further, I don't think. 
Yes, wooden doors of the Moth Priest's quarters. As you can imagine, there's more and more of these blind guys because they're so hard to sneak past. They're like the primary anti-sneak character just because they're like... It's basically the game's like way of explaining a character who's so good at detecting you for no apparent reason. Oh, it's because they're blind. They're able to blah blah. Yeah, you know, whatever. There's a wooden door here. I'm not sure what's behind it, but I'm going to take a risk and open it. I think it might be the way we need to go, although I'm not sure. No, it just seems to be the Moth Priest's bedroom. I'm not going to mess with that. Shit, tell me he's blind. Okay, good. Don't bump into me. Okay, good. That guy has a die katana. So does the uh, most powerful protector of the monks in the sanctuary. And so, uh... You, want, you don't want to get in a fight with either of them, because uh, for a thief character, that die katana can be uh, bad news, let me tell you. What's in here? More living quarters? Yeah, it looks like just another room. No big deal there. Let's continue forward. Alright, and up on the lair. You don't actually have to, you don't actually have to pick those locks, I just wanted to see what was behind them, because I never looked before. This is the Imperial Battle Mage's chambers. And we're just going through a series of locked doors. That skeleton key really opens the way for us, doesn't it? Ah, oh, we're doing good now. This is some tasty stuff. Loading area. Alright, we got a guard walking in the other direction. Now that we're back in Imperial territory, we're going to get these guards appearing as well. You see these nice, nice deep alcoves here for you to hide in occasionally. So if your sneak, scat, sneak stat isn't that high, just go way back in the back of one of those and you should be fine. He's stopping, but I'm not sure why. Yeah, he's gonna keep going. Okay, good. I'm getting a little bit too reckless here. I need to slow down. What's in here? Now, basically, you're left on your own to figure out how to get out of here. It's just a matter of being a really good sneak, basically. Very hard lock. Aha, uh -huh, one auto attempt. I love it. <gasps> Shit, okay, there's somebody right there. He will definitely spot us if we go in there. Let's open this door, too. There we go. Because we gotta find a way to get past him. We need to get back to his fireplace. Go to bed, will you, dude? He's standing right over there, isn't he? He seems to have moved. Anyway, his fireplace back here? There's a grate. A loose grate to the old way. Now you have a choice here. Before you open it, I think it's going to give you a prompt about this, but I'll go ahead and explain it. This is the long fall that the boots of spring -Heel Jack are supposed to protect you from, because as you know, acrobatics makes you jump higher, and it also makes you able to withstand longer falls. And if you have the boots of spring -Heel Jack on, you, will, you won't take any damage, but the boots will be destroyed. If you don't have the boots of spring -Heel Jack on, you're going to take the hit based on your acrobatics stat. And so, but the will get to keep the boots. So, I always save before doing it and try it without the boots first, because if I can keep them, I will. Yes, I've escaped from the Imperial Palace by jumping down a chimney chute in Okado's bedroom. He's the Imperial Battle Mage. I hope the Royal Battle Mages won't mind me won't mind me using misusing his ash flu. I can only hope my fall my fall doesn't end too abruptly. I wonder if this is what I'm supposed to use this boots of Bring Hill Jack for. Yeah, it is. We'll give that one away. But this is going to make us fall back in on the old way. And once you get in here, if you look down, you really are falling quite a ways. But it's not that far. And honestly, it's not as far as it should have been for how high up we were in that damn tower. It's a certain automated distance. But as you can see, we're back in the old way here. We've already walked through here. We fell down right through that. Alright, neat. So now we can head back home. The arrow is actually pointing us the right direction, and there shouldn't be any enemies around since we've already cleared the area. So we basically, uh, we win. That's it. We've got the Elder Scroll. Which is now just a matter of exiting the sewers and going home. Returning the scroll to the Grey Fox. And, uh, then we can finish off the quest line. Hell yeah. And supposedly get our reward greater than gold or some such nonsense. Now, is there a fast way out of here? I'd love for there to be a shortcut when you leave, but it doesn't look like we're going to get one, so... We'll just zip on through. I don't think that they regenerate any of the enemies in here, but I've been wrong before, so... Yeah. I'm not actually going to bother being cautious, because quite frankly, I'm not that worried about anything I run into down here. It's the sewers. 
Nothing that dangerous here. Except for vampire assassins, huh? Whatever. What's that? <gasps> Someone heard me. Oh no, I'm not really that worried. Beneath the bloodworks. So it's the next step in the long uh, series of sewers you have to go through to get back out. But basically, uh, I'm glad they don't make you go through everything, because if they made you redo all that stuff that you did at the beginning... Oh my god, this would take ages. Hello. Looks like some of the crabs regenerated. Come here, you. Let's save that one just for you. Somebody with a sword sauce. Heard him took their weapon out. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. Hmm. Oh, there's a grate over there. Oh, hello. Hey, vampire scout. How are you doing? You're not going to make me contract poor fire hemophilia, are you? That would suck. This. Is he hissing at me? This. Kind of strange. Yep, someone's just hissing at me. That's really weird. Oh, don't kill yourself. I hate when they heal themselves. You're dead, aren't you? Okay. Not going to get back up like this person did. It's a vampire nightblade here. I already killed them a while back. Let's see. Vampire Crusader? I like the dark shirt. I like I tend to take it when I see it, even though I almost never wear it. What about you down here, Scout? Got some arrows for me? No. Orcish stuff? Decent armor. On the way out here, we actually can carry anything that we want with us, basically, because, uh... I over encumbered, am I? Okay, good. I mean, it's up to you, whatever you want to take with you. Oh, it's dead already. Okay, good. I believe if you activate that, it opens this grate, so we can actually work our way out of here. There we go, it takes a little bit for it to activate, but this is definitely the way we want to go. And I am kind of sick of fighting enemies, and this guild taking so damn long. We've got the Elder Scroll. It'd be nice if we could just leave without any real trouble. I'm not going to waste my bow on that. What am I doing? Get out of here. Just use one of those weak little spells. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Take another... Can't take an autosave here, can I? Where are we headed? Back that way. I really need to look at the map more. I remember I wandered through this area for a while, actually, before we finally, uh, ended up going the right damn direction. Oh no, because I, I do have to circle around here, don't I? Because I have to get up top. Yeah, that's why this is here. You don't have to circle around the first time, because it's, uh, you're going, you're going from the top down. But when you want to climb back up, you actually have to go through all these rooms, because you have to climb up these stairs to get to the second floor. Because the, some rooms, you can go north-south on the first floor, and east-west on the second floor. Like the one that we're going to go through right up here. You see, there's just a walkway up here. There's no way to get up to this from the bottom floor. So the top, so not, basically on the, it's basically like two separate rooms. So on the first floor, it just goes north to south. But on the second floor, it goes east and west. So it just makes the dungeon a little more complicated. Not by a lot, though. What? More invisible people? Oh, they're above me. Okay. Actually, that sounds like a summoning, not someone going invisible. It's a fight you want. It's a fight you'll get. Oh, it's a fight I'll get. Yeah. Another Crusader. I'm not really worried about do. these guys. And the difficulty is turned back up to normal, so... As you can tell, we're actually gonna battle these guys. Oh shit, there's two of them now. That's not good. Do I have any healing potions left? I have a bunch of ones I've picked up. There we go, that's one of the ones that I made. That's what I'm looking for. I think my bow just broke, didn't it? No, I think he just disarmed me or something. That's weird. I saw my fists come up, and that's weird. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Don't make me use the shocker on you. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it, I missed. Whatever, the arrow should finish him. You're not summoned, are you? No, you are. You're from a nether lich. Damn it, I hate nether liches. I hate uh, enemies that can summon other enemies. That's irritating. I don't even see the nether lich. Where's he at? Oh, here. There you are. You know what? I'm just going to recharge my bow and use that against him. Because I can't be bothered to use that many arrows against this guy or to try to waste my magic on him. Let's recharge bow lift here. Oh, are you running out of magic? having to summon all those folks in here? I hope so. That's what you deserve. And yeah, I'm just taking some hits here. Some of these I'm just going to withstand. I do have one more potion I can use. Shouldn't need a whole lot more uh, work to get out of here. I'm not even doing this for the uh, damage of the arrows. I'm doing this for the damage of the spell that's on it. There we go. The spell that's on the bow, I should say. So give me back my arrows. Thank you very much. 
and we'll continue on our merry way. And it looks like we're able to level up next time we find a bed. How nice. This quest line gave us, I think, three level ups in the whole process. Here we go. This looks like the door out. Back into the market sewers. This is not the way we came in, is it? Okay, come on now. It's a hard lock. Just auto-pick it, why not? 